Well, in my new book, The Tyranny of Merit, What's Become of the Common Good, I, su I suggest that we need to put a greater focus on the dignity of work. Part of what animates the anger and resentment among many working people, a resentment that has fueled the populist backlash against elites, is the sense that credentialed elites look down on people without university degrees. And more than that, that we as a society don't really accord respect or recognition to the kind of work that many working people do, especially those who lack a four-year university diploma. So one of the proposals I make, and it really points us in a direction rather than offering a, a detailed policy prescription, I suggest that we should focus less on individual upward mobility as a solution to inequality, and more on making life better for those who may not have a university degree or credential, but who nonetheless make valuable contributions through the work they do, the families they raise, the communities they serve. And what this would mean in practical terms is a new focus in our politics on the dignity of work, on confronting the inequalities of recent decades, not only by inviting people to get a university degree so that they can rise as individuals, but by renewing a politics of the common good aimed at making life better for everyone, whether they be highly credentialed or not.